munchies, welcome to the channel if you're new or if you've been around, I'm Alicia and I am stoked you're here. I know, we're busy all the time and quick breakfasts are always good to have on hand, but I find that especially to be true this time of year because it gets so busy with the holidays. Today I've got five super easy breakfast recipes for you. They all use very few ingredients, including the easiest pumpkin bread ever, which is exactly what I wanna be eating pretty much every day right now. I have partnered with Sprouts and Mountain High Yogurt to bring this video to life. You all know I love Love sprouts. It's like an indoor farmer's market and it has so many unique specialty items and the prices are seriously great. Mountain High yogurt is fresh yogurt made using a centuries old method and is cultured in the cup, which results in a super delicious and creamy thick yogurt. There is no gelatin. It's honest to goodness, nothing to hide and nothing contrived. Let's get right to it with that pumpkin bread. This recipe only requires one bowl, which makes it so easy. I whisk together eggs, canned pumpkin, Mountain High Original plain yogurt, which is nutritiously substituting the butter or oil you'd usually find in a breakfast bread, coconut sugar, vanilla extract, pumpkin pie spice, cinnamon, baking soda, and salt. Then I mix in gluten-free all-purpose flour. You could also use oat flour or regular all-purpose or whole wheat flour. Finally, stir in chopped walnuts or nuts of choice if you'd like. You could also use chocolate chips, but I was trying to keep this breakfast friendly. I add it to my loaf pan and top it off with some pumpkin seeds. This is optional, but it does make it look nice and I love the crunch. Bake until a toothpick comes out clean. And cool completely before slicing. Okay, does it get any easier than that? One bowl into the loaf and you get a healthy pumpkin bread that totally satisfies. It's so moist and just sweet enough for breakfast without overdoing it. It's got a great crunch from those nuts and it's substantial enough for breakfast without being too heavy or overindulgent. I love it and I know you will too. Following the easiest pumpkin bread ever, I have got the easiest smoothie ever, a three ingredient customized creamsicle smoothie, dragon fruit edition. Into your blender, add your frozen fruit of choice. I used frozen dragon fruit, which I got from Sprouts. They have the most unique frozen fruit selections that I've ever seen. I also add Mountain High Original Plain Yogurt and milk of choice. That could be dairy or plant-based. Blend it up and serve. Look at that beautiful color. I love smoothies that are sweetened naturally from fruit, but you could of course sweeten it to your liking with a little bit of honey. The yogurt makes it so creamy and satisfying. The smoothie is great as is, but what also gives it some bonus points is the fact that you can freeze it for up to a month and then thaw it out and enjoy. And it's a great mix to freeze as popsicles. Popsicles for breakfast, anyone? Next, I've got a make-ahead parfait, and I am sharing a microwave granola. Say what? But first, I wanna let you know that we were able to create a special code for you, Munch, that you can use in the Sprouts app to get 75 cents off any 32 ounce Mountain High yogurt products at their stores. Either create an account or sign in if you're an existing user, it's free. Navigate to the sidebar menu in the top left corner of your screen, select promo codes under my account, and enter your code. It's instantly clipped and added to your coupons and my barcode for easy checkout. Okay, so back to microwave granola. For the granola, I mix together nut butter of choice, maple syrup, water, and a pinch of salt. Microwave 10 to 20 seconds to integrate if needed. Then I can add in rolled oats. I love getting rolled oats in bulk at Sprouts because it keeps them so affordable and I can get what I need. Their entire bulk section is seriously amazing. They have coffee, rice, beans, nuts, dried fruits, granolas, trail mixes, spices, sweet treats, and more. Okay, mix all of that together and microwave for about 90 seconds, give it another stir, and then let it go another minute until it's golden brown. Let it stand for just a few minutes before enjoying or storing your parfait. I assemble with some plain Mountain High Original Yogurt, which I've sweetened on my own with a little bit of honey to taste, as well as fresh berries or your favorite fruit. Layer those on the bottom and keep the granola on top so that it doesn't get soggy. And it's even better if you can wait to add your granola until the time of eating. Remember this trick? I have shared it before. Add in your mix-ins into an old applesauce container and use a wide mouth mason jar to store your yogurt and fruit. Mix in the granola when you're ready to eat. 
You could also totally use any granola you prefer. Sprouts has so many of their own gluten-free and grain-free granola choices. I recently tried the Nutty Chai and holy moly, it's amazing. And it's got less sugar than most granolas I've found. And all of Sprouts brand products are free of artificial flavors, colors, sweeteners, and preservatives, which is awesome. You can easily customize this parfait to include your favorite fruit, your favorite granola, or the yogurt flavor that you prefer. Mountain High sells vanilla in addition to plain. The tart and tangy plain yogurt pairs perfectly with the sweet honey and fresh fruit, but that delicious crunchy granola is what really balances all of this out with texture. There's a reason that parfaits are hard to do wrong. Another one of my favorite easy breakfasts where you can have ultimate combinations, toasts. I have got two for you today. For the first, I used a rye bread. I toasted it and topped it off with plain Mountain High Original Yogurt. Look how seriously creamy it is. I add a drizzle of honey, some sliced fresh figs, so beautiful, and a sprinkle of thyme and sesame seeds. This is like fall flavors on toast, seriously. The tangy yogurt and sweet honey pairs perfectly with the fresh, sweet, and subtle fig. The earthy thyme elevates it all and gives it such a comforting feel. Okay, for the second toast, I saute some spinach and a bit of sesame oil with salt. Start with a lot of spinach because it is gonna wilt down to nothing. I use sprout seeded bread for this one. They have so many great bread options, but I love these thin sliced ones. I toast it up and add plain Mountain High Original Yogurt, that sauteed sesame spinach, followed by a fried egg, red pepper flakes, and some black sesame seeds on top. The sesame oil has a natural sweetness that helps balance out the savory toast. The sesame seeds and toasted bread add a nice crunch, and of course, that seeded toast is going to be even better when it absorbs all the yolky egg goodness. I love a savory toast. I have linked a few other videos below with more easy breakfast ideas, as well as sharing some of my other favorite Sprouts items. Don't forget about that code MUNCH to get 75 cents off a Mountain High yogurt container at Sprouts using the free app. I hope you can try it out. This stuff is really so good. Every batch is made in California with real California milk, and it's really great in recipes like I've shown, but it's also delicious on its own. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks to Sprouts and Mountain High Yogurt for partnering with me on this video. I will be back next week with a brand new episode. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.